Well, today is uh, March 8th, it's uh, International Women's Day. We're having a, uh, a beat-in, which is the equivalent of a teach-in, but with beating in, in it, because it's a, a traditional uh, way of crafting, and that got women together to talk and also to exchange uh, either stories about their uh, everyday life, but today we're also exchanging about situations for uh, Aboriginal women across Canada through the situations of uh, I don't know more or the missing and just uh, missing murdered Aboriginal women, missing justice, uh, the fact that there is a presently uh, a lot going on with the uh, conservative government that is uh, really uh, not helping out. The different nat native communities. So today is really about talking about native issue between native and non-native people. So we're having exchange and we're beating together. So it it gives knowledge on both way and it give, it permits uh, having a relation between each other because this is one of the biggest problems we have also is that we are having no relations between native and non-native people in Canada. So like rowing in the same canoe for 400 years without telling each other where you're going, you're turning in circles. So today we're trying to start building relations and also trying to teach the history of First Nation because it's not taught in school and nobody can tell me about it if, it, if he's not First Nation or yeah. Aboriginal. Uh, in Montreal, we kind of have a lot of service because uh, we are an urban milieu. So uh, we have access to Quebec Native women. We also have access to uh, the uh, shelter for women, Aboriginal shelter for women. Uh, of course, it, it often asks of people to be out of their own community. So inside the communities, it might vary because if you're different, like differently positioned on, uh, across the province, it changes your situation. If you're next to a road, you get better access to cities. If you're next to a city, you have better access to services and jobs. But if you're up north, really far from different uh, cities, and you get to access cities by plane, then you diminish the chance you have to having services offered to you. And since the level of poverty in communities is really well known as a big problem across Canada, being the, the most uh, impoverished population across Canada, uh, often, the women are at the bottom of that because they are basically uh, being put out, out, put out there as uh, as that that the the, oh, the stat statistic has been shown that if you are born First Nation and woman, you have 15% more chance of being victim of a criminal act or a sexual violence and maybe of dying of it. So. Yes, I think the situation of First Nation women across Canada is not really uh, the most shiny. It's not all around bad, but it's really, there's an emergency. And we're just thinking about the Highway of Tears in BC, which is a situation that should not exist in a country like Canada. But presently, the, uh, the cut of foundings in Sisters in Spirit program from NWAC, the, uh, the, 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 the redirection of those funds to the police, which now has been found to be one of the source, one of the reason why there is uh, a problem with the missing mur murdered Aboriginal women is like kind of like you almost uh, you're almost giving the money to the person who is responsible for the the, 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 the inaction for Native women disappearing. So I think it's it's a problem that's not being uh, um, not being told about talked about seriously by the government, and it's also a problem that is not being seen throughout the through Canada, which. Sister in Spirit was doing, and now that it's disappeared, it's almost like the problem has disappeared from the Canadian non-native point of view. So I think, yes, there is problems. And all that we have gained in the last 20 years, in the last 10 years, we have lost because of that conservative government that is trying to abolish all uh, native identity and try to build one nation, but without uh, taking care of the problems that are at the base root of why we're having so much difficulty in Canada as a nation.